Blinded by the light. Why do I always start my videos retardedly? Oh, I don't know. Hi guys. Oh, I don't know what that was. Hmm. Hi guys. Welcome back to my Italy haul video. This is part two and this is all about the brand Kiko. Uh, I figure it's a fairly new brand and people might not know a lot about it. So I'm going to show you all the sh things I bought from their shop and hopefully it helps you decide if you want to try their try them out or not. I cannot speak all of a sudden. So just a quick tidbit about Kiko. The brand is made in Italy and they are, I believe, hypoallergenic and they don't test on animals. So if anyone's looking for anything like that, Kiko is the brand for you. Let's just get started and I will show you what I bought while I was in Italy. First things first, I bought some nail polishes because I'm a freak. Let me show you. I bought this one. It's a beautiful kind of like robin's egg blue shell. Like robin's egg, yeah. Yeah, that's what I wanted to say. With some goldish shimmer in it. And it is number 834. There's no name. But it is their, from their new collection. It's Kiko Quick Dry Nail, Nail Lacquer. And this is just the black from that line too. These are awesome. I tried these on while I was in Italy. They they lasted for like a week on my nails and they didn't chip, they didn't really wear that much on the tip and they dry really fast. The brush is awesome and the formula is awesome. So if you're looking for some new nail polishes, they're, they're pretty cheap too, so check them out if you want. Next is this one and it is from their just nail regular nail lacquer collection. It's a beautiful kind of nude pink and it's in the, co in the color or the number 372. Where's that number seven? Eight, four. <laughs> okay, I'm wrong. This is number four. This is number eight. This is number seven. This was special. Anyways, I'm not as huge a fan of this formula. I'd prefer the fast drying one. This one feels a little thick to me and it takes a lot longer to dry on your nails and I'm all about getting things done quickly. That's what she said. Next, I got this and it is the, oh my God, opening it. Opening it. It is the, what is this? Kiko Long Lasting Wet and Dry Use Eyeshadow in the color 227. Do you see that? I don't know if I brought that close enough for you, but how gorgeous is that? It has this awesome little fingerprint design, like somebody has just went in it, and it's so incredibly smooth, and it goes on very lightly at first, but if you wet it, it's like metallic-y. At least that's what I found. Oh, it's just beautiful. And this is kind of like in a silver taupe color. The next thing I got from Kiko is this. And it is a blush. It is their Soft Touch Blush in 106. It is a very, very dark color. I know a lot of people might be scared about this color because it looks so browny, but um, I don't find it that harsh. I'm wearing it right now. And it just looks, I don't know, I, I like strong blush. So I like that this is a very pigmented, very soft blush that goes on and you're just like, whoa, there's my blush. So if you're into, you know, really sheer applications of blush, maybe this isn't for you. But otherwise, it's beautiful. It is soft and pigmented and I've said all this already. I can't speak highly enough about this. The only thing that gets me is the packaging. It's very matte, so it gets very dirty. Same kind of thing with the NARS packaging. Next is this lipstick right here. This was like two euro or a dollar fifty type euro thing. And it is, does it say what it is? The boyfriend's getting out of the shower. Just their lipstick 
in number 11. It's a very My Lips But Better color. I really like this. It stays on beautifully. It's not drying on the lips. My only gripe with it is that it feels gritty going on. So the actual product on the bullet feels gritty on in the tube, but when you put it on your lips, you don't feel that grittiness, if that makes any sense. Yeah, it's like, it's almost like it's exfoliating your lips for you while, pu while you're putting it on. And it actually has done that for me. Like I found like little flakies of my lip on it, which isn't so glamorous. So I'm gonna stop talking right now and let my boyfriend come out of the shower. One second. And we're back. The next thing I bought from Kiko is this. It is a very sheer lip balm. It just kind of gives you some shimmer on your lips. It's very glossy. It is the Kiko Kiss Balm Lip Balm in 01 Coconut. And it does smell like coconut. Mm. It's really soft and really, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It's very buttery. I think they have other colors. I bought the sheerest one. Um, their other ones are like pinks, purples, and they're a slightly like tinted, tinted uh, lip balm. I just bought the one that didn't have any tint to it. Next is this beauty right here, and it is their, it doesn't say what type of lipstick it is, but it's one of their lipsticks. And check out that beautiful color. Do you see it? Do you see it? This beautiful lilac. Oh, purple. It goes on. It actually does have the color to it, except it comes out a little bit more pinky on my lips. Probably my my um, lips playing with the color, but it's beautiful. It's so hydrating, and it uh, it lasts pretty well on me. So I'm a big fan of these. I even like the packaging. I just think it's really sleek and cool. And I plan on buying a few more of those eventually. I'll order them online. By the way, you can order Kiko online, guys. So you don't have any excuse, just buy some. Second last is this. You guys might have seen this already in one of Lily Pebble's videos. It is the Kiko City, Fil City Filter Sunscreen Primer with SPF 50 in it. This stuff is awesome. I really, really enjoy this as a primer. I've tried a bunch of primers and I'm, I'm not such a huge fan, but this stuff is awesome. It's kind of yellowy when it comes out and looks kind of gross, but don't let that put you off because it smells like ice cream. I'm almost tempted to taste it, though I know it won't taste the same. It smells like ice cream. It's just nice and beautiful as it goes on your face. It blends in really e evenly and it dries. It dries down to, it just, it dries. <laughs> it sinks into your skin. So you can put stuff over top of it and not feel heavy and you know cakey or anything like that. I really enjoyed that and I wore this in Italy where it's super hot and you get super sweaty and I feel like this controlled my oil a little bit. I mean it might not have but I was less oily when I wore this. And finally the last thing that I got from Kiko, last but not least, is this beauty right here and it is the hydrating mask Illuminating Moisture Mask by Kiko and obviously it's a hydrating mask you just rub it under your skin leave it for 10 minutes and then wash it off it's really weird <laughs> when it comes out it's like cottage cheese and you have to rub it into your skin and it but when you rub it into your skin it's like a gel and it just kind of like evenly disperses. it's just that feel that initial feeling is you're like Ugh, stop that but it works really well. My skin feels very hydrated and very plumped after I use it, um, and I really like it. So my initial response to Kiko is that I really like this brand. I haven't tried anything that I don't like from it right now, and yeah, it's all thumbs up here, and I can't wait to try more stuff. I'm gonna order more from them, especially the skincare items. I can't wait to try those. But yeah, so that's it for this video. That is my Italy haul part de, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.